somehow. My boyfriend. Oh my god. Title line. <laughs> I'm Luca Reedy. I am a transgender male, and I consider myself pansexual. I'm Sean. I'm um, cisgender male, and I'm gay. Um, my name is Sienna. Uh, my gender, I'm a female, and I am gay. Like, definitely at a young age, I already, already knew. It's something that's, like, already, like, so ingrained deep in who you are as a person. But yeah, no, it's just a thing. It's not really... Like, to me, like, now, like, realizing it is, like, like, I used to think it was, like, this huge thing, like, oh my god, I'm gay, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Growing up, I was the most feminine person ever. Some, some, like, feminine tendencies, I guess you would say. I love dresses and skirts, um, I wasn't, like, one of those typical trans guys who knew it from birth and always liked all the guys' things and stuff like that, no. Really, really young, I was probably seven. But then I kind of like repressed it a lot. And when I was 12, I had a crush on my music teacher. I think when I started to actually like realize and come to the fact that I was different, that gave me a lot of anxiety growing up. In high school, it was around my freshman or sophomore year that I was just like, wow, this gender thing doesn't feel very right. I didn't like myself and that really stemmed from the fact that, you know, I was different. You know, a lot of the people I knew in high school were not like me. Over the summer going into college and stuff, I was like, eh, still doesn't feel right. This is weird. And I felt super dysphoric all the time. I came out eventually as a transgender male. <laughs> I slowly came to realize that as I continued only dating women, not really liking any kind of men at all. Um, do you like feel comfortable in your own skin today, like where you are currently in your life? No, I don't feel comfortable in my own skin at all. <laughs> no, oh my god. Yeah, I'd say I feel pretty comfortable in my own skin. Cool. It took me a little bit while. More so when I was like 12. That was when I was like not okay with it. I don't think I'm ever gonna like have a body that number one is presentable to like modern society's like standard of male beauty, but also a body that's gonna seem attractive to like, you know, other queer men. So, in the media, it's always about violence against LGBT people. You never hear really good things about them. It's just, oh, this person was murdered, or oh, that person was the victim of a hate crime, or something like that. There's still like the stereotypes and stuff, like, like even though like, like, even if they're okay with it and stuff, or like, even if they're talking positively about it, there's still the stereotypes. Pop culture's idea of queer people are, for the most part, richer, more attractive, per se, to their own standards, and <clears throat> more mentally stable than the average queer person. I aspire to be the manliest man on earth. Not really, but... Um, I'm going to become a social worker so I can help kids. I sort of want to be a playwright. I definitely want to produce and like have this media that's intricate and artistic i aspire to be a psychologist specifically focusing on lgbt youth actually orlando Ooh. Ooh. the orlando tragedy <sighs> it was terrible i mean it was definitely a cold reminder for a lot of people in the community um that night I wanted to go out and get a burrito for dinner, and my mom was like, I don't want you going out. Like, I'm terrified that you're gonna get shot. The only thing that really stuck out to me was the fact that Donald Trump was uh, making all those comments and stuff. As much progress as we make, there's always gonna be times where we fall back. I don't feel safe in Pennsylvania or any place for that matter. Yeah, no, you never really feel safe. You just sort of get used to not feeling safe. Like, I, in Pennsylvania, I feel safe being a gay person. I think it would depend on where I go. I think generally, like, but then again, I've never really had terrible experiences being out. When you're meeting new people, I always sort of, like, have that question in the back of their head. Are they insanely homophobic? Or is this going to turn into a hate crime? It's just, it's just a thing. It's just a thing that happens. It's nothing different. 
I just happened to like vagina, just like the straight guy in the next room. Feminine trans boys aren't any less male just because they're feminine. We are people. At the end of the day, no matter what stereotype you subscribe to, we are people who are endlessly complex and capable in ourselves. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> end it, end it with me. <laughs> <laughs>